morning everybody, it's Kay. It's a beautiful day. We're actually departing Houston Southwest and we're flying to San Marcos today to go get some goodies for my brand new airplane. So hop in, get ready to go, and I'll see you in the sky. Clear prop! Belts are fastened, flaps are in the up position, heater and defrost are both turned off, avionics master switch is on, all gauges are illuminated, looks good. Next checklist is going to be the run up, but we got to get to the run up area to do that. So, Houston Southwest Cherokee 773 in November taxiing from BK Aircraft over to runway 9 or Houston Southwest. It's going to be a great day to fly, I'm excited. All right, so when I looked at it, it said that it was gonna be about an hour and 15 minutes to get to San Marcos. I filed for 6,000 feet. I am going to be on the instrument flight plan, but we're gonna do something a little different today. I am going to depart, excuse me, sorry. I forgot you're flying with me today. We are going to depart VFR from Houston Southwest. I'm not actually at Sugarland. This is where my airplane is being taken care of. This is also actually where I always bring Lil Red for oil changes and annual inspections and then any other maintenance that I might require, which is pretty cool. I love this little airport, but it is very busy. <laughs> Houston Southwest, 4096, Victor is about a five mile final, 27, we'll be breaking off two miles short, and I go in this, Houston Southwest. So we're gonna do our run up right here, steer nice and clear of this guy, no reason to overcrowd him. RPMs are set to 1,000 and everything is already looking really, really good. This is the second flight of the day, technically, so we got this. Brakes are set, fuel proper tank 25 and 25, visually inspected both of those and I do agree so that is perfect. Trim for takeoff, we're going to bring this to the middle of neutral here. Flight control check. Pushing and pulling that control yoke forward and back, moving that tail up and down, beautiful. And then rolling it left and right. So left turn, left aileron is up, right aileron is down, right turn, right aileron is up, and the left aileron is down. Do our little figure eight movement and we've definitely got freedom of movement there. So flight controls are free and correct. I was also checking my rudders and my brakes during taxi, so that looks fantastic. Mixture is best power, primer is in and locked, and we're gonna bring our RPMs up to 2,000, but we're gonna hold short of the actual runway now because that guy got out of our way. RPMs are gonna go up to 2,000. Right magneto check, all drop, all gauges remain in the green, engine sounds amazing. Back to both here, back up to 2,000. Left magneto check now, small drop, still looks great. All gauges are still in the green, awesome. Back to both, heat on. Lost about 40 to 50 RPMs there, that's perfect. Car heat right back off. And power to idle to ensure the airplane continues to run within the safe RPM range. Here we go. Houston Southwest traffic, Cherokee 7738 November is taking off runway Niner and then we'll be departing out uh, to the left for Houston Southwest. Clear and still clear. Still don't see anybody, and finals clear this way as well. Perfect. All right, full power. All gauges are in the green, airspeed is alive, winds are nice and calm, there's 60, 65, and rotate. We got you, it's never about Got a bird, don't dive, please. Thank you. Southwest 61573 turning final, 09. Awesome, this looks good. It's pretty busy here, so I am going to fall into an actual traffic pattern before I depart to the southwest. Yeah, I think that'll be better. Houston Southwest traffic, Cherokee 773, November is actually going to remain in the traffic pattern and then depart to the southwest, Houston Southwest. Just so I can keep an eye on it, because there's a, quite a few airplanes here. So we'll just do a nice traditional left traffic pattern. Everything looks great, so electric fuel pump off, fuel pressure remains in the green, landing light off, beautiful. We're gonna set 2,000 feet. Runway still in sight. 
No traffic to be observed as of right now. Fantastic. And we're going to go to 123.8 to pick up our clearance when we're ready. Houston Southwest traffic, Cherokee 773 at November is on a left downwind runway Niner, departing the area, final call, Houston Southwest. All right, this class Bravo shelf is 2,000. We're at 1,400 now, so that's good. Here we're at 2,500, so we can continue that climb. Here's 3,000, looking good. Good morning, Houston. Cherokee 773 in November just departed Houston Southwest Airport. Like to pick up IFR to Hotel Yankee, India, please. 773 in November, Houston, depart to maintain VFR, standby. 0.65. So we're officially in that 3,000 foot shelf now, so we can continue that climb up. He should get back to us pretty quickly and give us our official clearance, and then we will be right as rain. November, squawk 4721, maintain VFR. 4721, maintain VFR, 773 in November. All right, clear of all air spaces, that looks good. Still on the lookout for traffic, not seeing a whole lot. I'm wondering if people are just doing a lot of touch and go practice today. For those of you that might not know what that means, it means you come in and you do a full landing and then as long as everything looks good, you just take right back off. Most of the time you don't even exit the runway, which is pretty cool. In November, you're clear to San Marcos via Industry Direct. Climb and maintain 3,000, expect 6,000 as a final Industry Direct Industry. All right, 773 in November, cleared over to San Marcos via Industry, then direct climb, maintain 3,000. 773 in November, thank you. Autopilot on. Come over here, we'll go. Number altimeter 3004. I There we go. 33 in November, verify leaving 2,500. Affirmative for 773 in November, currently climbing through 2,400 for three. Thank you. So I did hear her, but I was more focused on flying the airplane and just getting everything set up before I made that call back. And as you can tell, all she did was just repeat the instructions. So no worries there. We've got 3,000 set here. We're going to be there in about 460 feet. That's pretty precise, actually, and in exactly 460 feet. We are direct industry, so that is fantastic. And we are officially on our instrument flight plan. So even though I'm going to be looking out for traffic, paying attention to airspaces, ATC is now going to be taking over all of that for me. So even if we fly over this class Delta, they're on the lookout for that too. Perfect. Doesn't get much easier than that. November, climb and maintain 5,000. Climb and maintain 5,000, 773 in November. Wow. She's being very nice to us. I love it. We're going to climb at 110 and just kind of see what that looks like for us. I'd like to keep about a 500 foot per minute climb. And that means we have roughly 2,300 feet. 2,300 feet that we actually need to gain. We have about a thousand foot per minute climb, so I'm gonna slow that down by trying to climb at about 115. Let's see what that looks like for us. We just crossed 3,000, so we're gonna continue that climb up to five. All gauges are in the green. Our cylinder head temperature is 382. We've got full tanks, which means we've got five hours worth of fuel on board. And right now we're burning about 15 gallons per hour, so I will be leaning out that mixture at 5,000 feet. Come over here and update our iPad now that the airplane looks good. We have the weather for Galveston, runway 14 and you, some ball to meter 3004. Zero four, four. we'll advise each other, my fix. Direct two. This guy is 900 feet below us, so he should be no factor. Fantastic. I'm in such a good mood. I got coffee this morning. I got Whataburger this morning. I got to go see my new airplane this morning. Oh, gosh, what a good day. All right, so right now it says one hour, 16 minutes. We are still in a climb. So our indicated airspeed right now is 114 and our ground speed is 109. So actually not that bad, much less headwind than it had already been reporting because I did do a thorough weather brief. 
Tight end, one three Charlie Bravo. Got two two golf radar contact six miles southeast of East Executive Airport. Houston, jump plane zero for Bravo over side of Houston, one minute. Attention, our craft parachute sky dive jump back to the in progress thirty miles west of. I'm always like two seconds early, but we have two hundred feet to go until we reach that selected altitude of five thousand, as requested by air traffic control. We actually filed for 6,000 because of the heading that we are going to be flying, but it looks like that might have changed just because we aren't going direct. We are flying to an actual waypoint, which is called industry, which I'll zoom in so you can see, which is right here. So here's where we are. This is the waypoint we're flying to, and then all the way over here is the airport that we are going to be landing at. I'm going to pull some power back. RPMs still look great. We're going to bring that to about 2,600 or so. Now, to start, our cylinder head temperature is at 382. Indicated air speed's 130. Ground speed's 126. And we're burning about 14 gallons of fuel per hour. So, I am going to lean out that mixture here. There's that engine roughness. So, then I'll enrich it slightly. And that puts us at about 9.9 .9 gallons per hour that we're burning now. RPMs are still about 2,600. Cylinder head temperature is 377. Indicated still 131. Okay, so we got one. <laughs> and ground speed is 127. So we'll see what this ends up looking like later on in our flight, especially if we do continue that climb to 6,000. But I'll keep you posted. Charlie Mike traffic, 11 o'clock, 6 miles southbound, altitude indicates 5,500. Oh, we're going to have to close those air vents a little bit. It's 52 degrees up here, but I'm not flying into the sun, so it's a little chilly. So I'm going to close mine. On this side. Oh, and on that side. Traffic 12 o'clock and three miles, same direction, climbing out of six percent. If there's one thing you've probably noticed if you've ever watched one of my videos before is anytime I'm on frequency 123.8, it is always extremely busy. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. Unless it's one of those days where I depart at like 4 a.m. <laughs> Which I do when I do long destination trips, but I don't know. I may not have to do that again for a while. We'll see. Traffic at 10 miles, same direction with an overtake as a citation. He's at 14,000. You can expect expect one, two thousand for a while. So RPMs are 2,600. We're still burning 10 gallons of fuel per hour. It is time to switch our tanks because we have 20 now in the left and 25 in our right. So after 30 minutes or after five gallons, I do like to switch just so I have an idea. Both of those tanks are running properly. So electric fuel pump on. Fuel pressure remains in the green and everything looks great. Roll that here to my right tank. Fuel pressure remains in the green. Still looks awesome. Electric fuel pump off. Fuel pressure stays in the green and our burn rate is is about exactly the same. So that is fantastic news. All right, so our identifier for our destination airport is Hotel Yankee India, San Marcos Regional, Marcus, I don't know, I've always said it wrong. ATIS, it'll be 120.825. I'm just putting that in my secondary radio here, getting that all set up and ready to rumble. And traffic pattern altitude will be 1,600 feet. Last known report was VFR. I did do a thorough weather brief, as I always do, before I even filed for this flight. So, as you can probably tell looking out, <laughs> it's a beautiful day to fly, so there wasn't really any concerns. It's not super bumpy, it's not turbulent, there's no rain, there's no clouds. Today is literally the perfect day to fly. So, I'm glad that I got up, I got ready, and here I am hanging out with all of you. to go a tiny bit faster because I've got the fuel so I'm going to bring that power up here to about 2650 or so then really out that mixture see if I can't get it closer to that 10 gallons per hour doesn't look like it wants to let me do it I'll set over for about 10 and a half to 11 that's cool excellent all gauges are still in the green Cylinder head temperature is 393, which totally works for me. Four miles southbound, Skyhawk 3000. Indicated 135, ground speed 132. Wait, here, let me have that for you in just a minute, plotting 130. 
Once we get a little further from the class Bravo and we can switch frequencies, I can talk to you a bit more. Three November, climb and maintain 6,000. Climb and maintain 6,000, 773 November. It's only 1,000 feet, so it's going to be quick. But we'll come over here, we'll do our indicated climb speed at probably just 120. That should do just fine. And join the final, set to maintain 5,000. Mixture's going to go full rich for the climb. Bringing that power up, making sure we don't get close to redlining. Beautiful. At full power, mixture is full rich. And we have about 800 feet to go. We're going to climb really, really quick. But this is our final altitude until it is time to come into land. So, kind of nice. She let us do it a lot faster than I thought she was going to. November, contact approach 124.22. 124.22, have a nice day for you, November. You too, thank you. 124.22, we've got that there. Switch. Listen for a few seconds, make sure we don't cut anybody off. Good morning, approach Turkey 773 in November, checking in, climb through 5,500 for six. Last call, Houston approach on in six seconds. Yes, good morning, this is Cherokee 773 in November, climbing through 5,600 for 6,000. Turkey 773 in November, Houston approach, college altitude 3003. 3003, in November. I almost made it. 200 feet to go until we level off at our selected altitude once again, which by the way is our final altitude for 6,000, so that's perfect. We just leveled off at 6,000 feet. Cylinder head temperature dropped to 374, which is great. RPMs are currently 2,600, and now it's time to lean it back out. Let's bring that power down to about 2,600. Beautiful, that looks much better. There's our engine roughness. And that's about 10 and a half. That'll work for me. We're gonna do 2650 RPMs because according to my cruise RPM checklist, that is my 75% power. So it's actually a little less than that. It's 2625 if you want to get real specific, but it works. You know what I just realized? I left my coffee at the truck. That's a huge bummer. I brought my breakfast though. We went to Whataburger on the way to the airport and I got a chicken biscuit. But it has like honey butter and like a whole bunch of deliciousness on it. So I will in fact be eating that here soon. Fifty-two minutes, hundred and ten knots ground speed. Indicate is one thirty-three, level six thousand feet. Everything is looking marvelous. I mean this is gonna be another really simple, easy, just lovely, lovely flight. I love days like today. Still on the lookout for traffic, but it looks like it's pretty slow over here. There's quite a few airplanes over at industry, which is the waypoint we're currently flying to, so I'll kinda keep an eye on them. But so far so good. Well, we have a lot of trips coming up. When I say we, I do in fact mean you and me. Uh, Roger. But I haven't really figured out specifically where I'm going to next. I'm thinking that I might go and visit some friends either in South Carolina or I might go visit some family in California. I am also starting to really like dive deep into planning my Bahamas trip. I am going to do that this year. And I'm just gonna tell you now, if you wanna see what I do after I land, make sure you're following Kay's Great Getaway because that's where I'll be posting all that content. Scuba diving, hopefully swimming with the pigs, you know, checking out different hotels, a little bit of shopping, just finding out more about the different cultures and different foods. I'm already so excited. So that's gonna be a total blast. Sometimes it just really shocks me when I get up here. It's like, you now I was at home this morning, then I was driving, and now I'm 6,000 feet in the air, going 126 miles per hour over the ground, listening to tunes, 
talking to air traffic control, having a conversation with you. I mean, sometimes you just forget about how cool that is. So if you're a pilot, I'm sure you probably agree that sometimes you just have to remember it's really, really awesome what we're doing. Traffic, no factor. And if you're watching this and you're not a pilot yet, maybe use this as a little bit of motivation. It's a lot of fun, I promise. Skyhawk 1-3, Charlie Bravo is level 4,500. Alright, so quick check in here. We have about, we've been in the air for about 45 minutes or so. We have 43 minutes left of our flight, 78 nautical miles. RPMs are set to between 2640 and 2650. Not a whole lot of wind, not a whole lot of fluctuation, which is nice. The underhead temperature is 397 degrees. Gallons per hour, our burn rate is between 10 and a half to 11, which I'm cool with, that works. Definitely a lot less than my new airplane's gonna take, so that works for me. We're level here at 6,000 feet. Our indicated airspeed is 132, and our ground speed is 126. So, not too shabby at all. We are, let's see, about five minutes away from our waypoint, which is the industry waypoint, and then we will be direct to the airport. That's when we'll start listening to our weather and kind of planning on which runway we're gonna be landing on as well. I don't know if you can see it, but all these black lines here are all different runways. So this is a class Delta. It is a controlled or towered airport. So we will be talking to somebody all the way down to the ground, which is very nice. We have an airplane that's flying 1,400, 1,400 feet below us right now, and they should cross right underneath our nose. So I'm going to see if we can spot them. 4,000, proceed direct to Charlie Whiskey Kilo. Okay, they turned. Can you see him right there? Now, Roman 92 Tango, proceed direct to UB. Hello. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get to see them. Darn it. Oh, we're going to turn, actually. I might be able to see them off our tail. But we are turning from industry waypoint over direct to our destination airport. Which is perfect. 35 minutes to go. I'm going to fly over a nice little lake here. What is this? Oh, oh no. I'm going to butcher this again. Lake... Did I say it right that time? I don't know. When I was flying with my friend, she was like, I said Fayetteville or something. And she's like, I love the way you said that, but I think it's just Fayetteville. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Fayetteville. That's what I was looking for. I think they call it Fayetteville. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Fayetteville. <laughs> Whatever. Fine. Stay outside the Delta for now. 738 November, contact Austin Approach 128-120.87. 120.87, have a nice day, 3 in November. Good day. 120.87, boom. 6 to self off off departure. That's why you give it a second to make sure you don't cut anybody off. Good morning, Austin, Cherokee 773 in November, 6000. 73 November, Austin approach, thanks. Information uniform screen at Denmark. Roger, I'll advise when I've got uniform. 773 November, thanks. All right, we'll try it again here shortly, but it sounds like it's been updated to Victor. I could hear it, but of course when he started talking, I was just trying to make sure I was listening. So it sounds like Windsor Comp. Guys clear, which are the two most important things. I just couldn't hear the altimeter setting, so I'll listen at it. Um, I'll listen to it again here shortly. I tell you, there are days. There are days where I get in the airplane and I've like got all this fun stuff I want to talk to you about, and I just get so tongue-tied. And I don't know what it is, but maybe I just didn't have enough coffee today. It is what it is. All right, let's see if we can do it before he gets back on. Nope. So close. All right, and they are using runway 17. Oh, that's perfect. 
Approach Cherokee 773 in November has Victor at the airport, and I'll just take the visual for 17, please. I got about three people calling on 123 in November. You wanted the visual to 17, correct? Affirmative 773 in November. I've got Victor as well. We were first. That never happens. I love when that happens. He said he had like three airplanes call at the same time. He talked to us first. We feel special. Things are getting wild. We're getting bumpy all of a sudden. What happened? I don't know. So let's see here. Our indicated airspeed is about 130 miles per hour. Our ground speed is 130 miles per hour, which means winds are not affecting us right now. Awesome. RPMs are fluctuating between about 2620 and 2650, which I'm totally cool with. All gauges are in the green. We're burning 10 and a half gallons per hour. Cylinder head temperature 396. Fuel is looking amazing. We have 28 minutes until we get to our destination. We've picked up the weather. We know which runway we're using. We're already talking to air traffic control. We are just ahead of the game today, which I love. I love when that happens. Now I can just keep jamming out. And then when we get about uh, five to 10 minutes closer, music will go off and it'll be time to prepare to come into land. I'm not sure that he's going to have us switch frequencies again, so I am going to go ahead and pop in tower, which is 126.82. Oh, I was like, that's the same frequency as ATIS. No, it's not. ATIS is 120.82. The 126.82 here, if we have to switch it back again, we can. No big deal. It does say approach and departure frequency here is 119.0, which we are not on, but we'll see. And there's quite a few airplanes here. One, two, three, four in the vicinity. Five, actually. But hopefully they're all leaving the area. Or they're coming in for a full stop landing and they won't even be in our way. That would be soup's ideal. So at 20 minutes, RPMs are fluctuating a little bit more because it's a little bit bumpier over here. Gallons per hour is still about the same. Cylinder head temperature, 397. Indicated airspeed 131, ground speed 131, still level 6,000 feet. I'm assuming we're going to start our initial descent here shortly because we are only 37 nautical miles away from our destination airport. Number 773 November, we just look to the visual 17. Affirmative for 773 November. Well, it's definitely a lot busier over here, so I am going to pause my music and be looking out for some traffic and stuff. I mean, it doesn't look like there's going to be any in our way, but always good to be diligent. Descent maintain 5,000. Descent maintain 5,000, 3 in November. Curve track 362, maintain 4,000. Well, we get to go down 1,000 feet. It's better than nothing. We're going to slightly enrich that mixture here, pull some of that power back as we start this descent. This always makes things go a little bit faster, and then once we level off again, it'll be slow again. <laughs> right now, we have 20 gallons of fuel in our left and 16 in our right. It's going to take us a roughly six minutes or so to burn off that one gallon. So I'm going to give it a little bit longer and then switch tanks before I actually get to traffic pattern altitude. Just in case, for some reason, my left tank does have an issue, it gives me plenty of time and altitude to switch back to the right tank. That's kind of what my thought process is, and that's how I switch my tanks, because I do not have a both option in this airplane. There is our 5,000 feet. So now we're going to add in a little bit more power just so we can keep that speed up here. And we've got plenty of fuel on board, so I am gonna put those RPMs at a 2600. It's gonna burn about 11 gallons per hour. But I'm assuming we're gonna do some more descending here pretty quickly, so we're not gonna relean out the mixture or anything right now. Should be good. Number 773 in November, contact approach 119.0. Good day. 119.0, same to you, 3 in November. Good morning, approach Cherokee 773 at November, checking in 5000. Cherokee 773 at November, Austin approach. Good morning, altimeter 3002, advise of the weather, San Marcos. 3002, I have the weather, San Marcos, requesting visual 17 for 773 at November. 33 November, roger. 33 at November, descend and maintain 4000. Descend and maintain 4000, 3 in November. And 
and we'll descend 500 feet per minute. Pull some of that power back. Again, slightly enriching that mixture. All gauges are still in the green, looking fantastic. Perfect. So here's a little fun fact for you. When I climb in this airplane, I climb based off of airspeed, not vertical speed. So airspeed, like I tell you, you know, oh, I'm gonna try climbing at 110 miles per hour, 115 miles per hour. Vertical speed, that would be like saying I'm gonna climb at 500 feet per minute. I don't do that because I never want my airspeed to be too slow in a climb and risk getting into a stall. Now, because I'm in a descent, I'm going to use vertical speed to descend. So now I'm officially descending at exactly 500 feet per minute or exactly as autopilot can handle, is capable of. So, there's your fun fact of the day. Okay, always tells you fun stuff, there you go. Always hooking you up. But we are about 12 minutes away from landing and once we actually get the field in sight, things will go pretty quickly. So of course, if you've enjoyed this video, you had fun on this flight, smash that like button. It really does help support the channel. And of course, hit subscribe so you never miss an adventure. My new airplane means that we're going further, we're flying higher, we're going faster, and it's gonna be a total blast. Not to mention, you're gonna get to meet a few more of my friends and actually come on some family trips with us through the videos, which I think is gonna be a blast. So stay tuned, I'm excited, hopefully you are too. And in about 80 feet, we're gonna hear another loud beeping sound indicating we are 200 feet away from our selected altitude because it does do that even in a descent as well. Ready? Three, two, one. I think I got it that time. I think I timed it properly. So we'll level up at 4,000 and then our pattern altitude is gonna be 1,600. I thought I had the field in sight, but I don't think that's what it is. So I'm still on the lookout. Climb to maintain 1,2,000, turn right heading 3,0,0. I'm the 1,2,000 and right Oh, I do see a runway out there though. That should be runway 26. So I do have the field in sight. The wheat! Alright, bringing that power back up now that we're leveling off at 4,000 again. I like to keep my airspeed up, especially coming to busier airports, so I don't lose my sequence. Because if I'm going too slow, they'll let a whole bunch of airplanes in front of us, and we don't want that. I have the hiccups too, don't mind me. <laughs> November 3, November to Santa, maintain 3,000. Maintain 3,000, 3 in November. November, San Marcos Airport, 12 o'clock in 17 miles, when able to report airport in sight. Roger, 773 in November, I've got the field in sight. November 773 in November, clear visual approach, runway 17. Cleared visual approach, runway 17, 773 in November, thank you. We're going to go a mixture full rich here just because we are pretty close to the airport at this point. And we've already been cleared for the visual approach, so we're just waiting to get switched to the tower now. Add in some more power, keep that airspeed up. What is this guy doing? All right, he's eight miles away. He's at our altitude. November 7738, November, traffic 11 o'clock, eight miles off the direction, altitude indicates 3,200, unverified. Roger, 773 in November, keeping an eye out for traffic. Exactly what I was looking at, too. November 773, November, contact San Marcos Tower. Have a good day. Over to Tower, you do the same, 773 in November, thanks. Good morning, San Marcos. Cherokee 773 at November, checking in. Cherokee 773 at November, San Marcos Tower, report five miles east of the airport. Report five miles east of the airport, 773 at November. All right, so that works. We are currently already east at about 12 miles, so in seven miles we'll make that call and advise him that we are five miles east of the field. We have this guy, he's 400 feet below us and flying in the same exact direction we are. Cherokee 38 November, traffic 11 o'clock, two miles eastbound, altitude 3,000 eastbound. 38 November, it'd be a, I recommend a slight right turn to the north. Roger, slight right turn to the north, 7738 November. We're currently flying west. The previous call traffic now is short final, should be no factor, runway 17 clear to land. And nine kilo whiskey, requesting the option, please. Got him. Er, nine kilo whiskey, runway 17 clear for the option. Nine kilo whiskey. 
Wow, you wanted to cut it real close, didn't you, buddy? And San Marcos, Turkey, 773, I got the traffic in sight. 38 November, roger. Enter uh, two mile left base, from I-17. All right, traffic pattern out to... Remember, uh, change of plans, enter a uh, midfield right, or excuse me, midfield left down in runway 17. Roger, I will enter a midfield left down in runway 17, 773, November, thanks. Okay, got runway 17 in sight. I also have the airplane that's landing right now in sight. We'll go ahead and make that turn now. San Marcos Tower, Sky 409 Charlie Romeo, holding short 17 on Juliet, ready for pattern work. Department. 409 Charlie Romeo, San Marcos Tower, hold short runway 17. Hold short 179. 400 feet to go until we reach tribe pattern altitude, which is good. Downwind for low approach. RV 9 Kilo Whiskey, runway 17 cleared, low approach. Nine kilo is clear for low approach. Cherokee Tree, November number two, traffic up in your left, uh, air cushion in the right downwind, the RV. They'll be doing a low approach only, advising you of the traffic in sight. Roger, looking for traffic, I'll expect to be number two. I'll advise when I get him in sight, 773 in November. Thank you. Electric fuel pump landing light on, rotating on, pedo, car heat off, mixture's full rich, primers in and locked. And we're going to slow our roll here because I do not have him in sight yet. Cherokee 3 November, start a base, or question, start your base, turn runway 17, clear to land. Turning and starting my left base for runway 17, 773 November, thanks. Uh, not a trolley, I guess he was really, really close runway to the runway. Could take off, follow the RV, he'll be a right pattern. But that works, no big deal. One. All right, let's get in that wide arc here. First notch of flaps 10 degrees, all gauges Cherokee are in the green. Number two, traffic, no other traffic to be observed. Number two, looking for traffic, 7 Charlie Tango. Your 7 Charlie Tango, follow that Archer, runway 17. All right, one white, one red, looks good. All gauges are in the green, looks fantastic. I'm feeling good about this approach. Beautiful, no other traffic to be observed. Awesome. And he's off the runway too. Second notch, 25, start slowing ourselves down a little. Gonna be a little bumpy over these trees, though. RPM's 18. So notch, I Romeo, describe my left, make a left traffic pattern, left crossing as soon as able. Five or Romeo, left traffic. Try Tango, if you have any, you can start your base. Runway 17, quick touch and go. Starting base turn, clear touch and go, 177, sorry Tango. So it's a 2 Julia Delta, you're following traffic, departure end, left cross one. Looking for the traffic, Julia Delta. I did not want to plumb it down when those wits picked up. That was pretty good.